So the area I'm about to demonstrate right now is to point out this Audi uh, reservoir tank. This is the fluid that gets circulated through the radiator system. So there is a demonstration video on that particular appliance. But this is the header tank that you need periodically to top up. Uh, there are two levels on the tank. There's a minimum, which is about where my finger is right now. And there's a maximum somewhere about there. This fluid, this pink fluid, should rest about a small finger's width above the minimum level. So it's just got to come down a little bit more, but it is warm because we have had central heating working. So in use, it does expand, which is what this pipe allows to happen. It allows for expansion of that fluid. And there's another pipe just on the head of the tank, which you can't see very easily, just where my finger is now. And that is, that is what is the drain, that if this system was filled too high, water would then dispense, or, the, or this antifreeze would then dispense down through onto the ground, uh, and you're just wasting fluid. But the reason I'm pointing this out is periodically, from time to time, you do need to top the product up. So in this case, you just remove that particular cap there. And I would personally buy the Audi antifreeze that you can get on the uh, shop shelves. Uh, it is already made up. Um, already as a product and it's this is a five-year solution this pink solution is a five-year solution you just top it up through that access hole there to the correct level as say a small fingers width or about a centimeter above the minimum level just tighten that up that's the minimum level about a centimeter is above there it's just got to go down a little bit further on this particular appliance but that's very very quickly a demonstration of the Audi fluid thank you